Hey everyone, Chris Simbaum with Remax. I wanted to talk about you know closing 2020 and what's ahead for 2021 real quick. Um, it's no secret the housing market has been very strong this year, even amongst a pandemic. And um, going into winter, so the end of this year and the beginning of, of 2021, um, it's projected to be continuing to be strong. Um, we're still seeing multiple offers. I was in multiple offers a couple times this week already. And um, there's just a shortage of inventory and rates over the next year are still projected to be low. Even though they may increase next year, um, they're thinking they're, you know, they'll be between three, four, definitely under 5% from what they're saying, the economists, I should say, in the feds. Um, <laughs> So uh, even though they're going to be a little bit increased from where they are currently now, that's still historically low, um, below 5%. So um, the trends that we're seeing, um, millennials, I think they, if I can remember the stat right, they accounted for 32% of home buyers this year, and there's still close to 3 million millennial buyers out there. Um, and this is on a national scale. So um, that's in addition to all the other buyers that we have in the marketplace right now. Um, last month, home sales were down, but if we had 30% more inventory, they would actually be up. So that's another indication that we just have that shortage of inventory. Um, where, kind of like what are the trends what, that we're seeing because of the pandemic and um, other things that have happened this year? We are seeing people move from the city to the suburbs. We are seeing people, um, if you remember that tiny house trend, um, they need more room in their homes, so they want the extra office. They want maybe an extra bedroom. Um, and I, I believe builders are actually starting to build homes with a little bit more of a choppier floor plan just to add additional rooms for those needs that we now have. Um, we are also seeing buyers relocate within the state um, and not just from the city to the suburbs, they're looking at an hour to two hours away. So they're relocating um, because they're not working in the office as much and they're okay to make that commute an hour, two hour drive, one to two times a week and still work from home. Um, it's crazy the trends that we're seeing. Um, if anybody has any questions, you know, I'm, I'm here to help. And uh, yeah, as we close out 2020, I hope you make it a good one.